Oh my god, I'm getting hit every time. This ain't the Turk or that we know. Let's focus on one, one at a time. All right, boys. Looks like my head got ran over. Looks like I got bonked. Hey, everyone, welcome back to another Calamity Summoner episode. I'm doing an intro here, post intro after the episode's recorded because the original intro was supposed to be a part of a sponsor. I'm still setting up with that sponsor. So that's why there's no original intro, but let's get to the video. All right, we're gonna take on the perforator here and we're gonna use the herring staff. And thanks to the herring staff, we are allowed to summon in like 30 summons. Okay, maybe not that many, but it's still a lot. Look at this. So it's like double. So we're summoning in like 12, I believe. And then that's plus this. So that's, well, actually, no, never mind. That's still 12. And then we got this. And then we, let's just summon it in. And then we got an extra two, I think. It's a lot of summons. That's all I'm trying to say, really. Okay, I don't like how you dodge that. I thought the projectiles are going to be a lot faster. They kind of slow down a little bit and it's throwing me off a little bit. Like, I, I'm, I just can't beat the projectiles. Oh my god, I'm getting hit every time. <laughs> How about we just completely run away from the projectiles? Maybe that'll help a little bit. Yeah, that, that seems to be helping out a little bit. Hey, should I get them to attack the worm? I don't know how to fight this boss anymore. I'm I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage. Hey, kill the worm. Kill the worm. That, that may help us out a lot if we just kill the worm. Oh, okay, we're good. That worm's dead. And then there should be one more that spawns in, I believe. Come on. Where's the last worm? Show yourself. Oh, oh. He, he spawned somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, I'm tired of juking these projectiles. Where the hell is this last worm at? Don't tell me they're all the way down there. Oh my god, come on. You gotta get up here. <clears throat> I'm not coming down there to fight you. Maybe I gotta like hang off the side over here. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. There you go. You guys see it? Kill it. I know you guys saw it for a second. Just, just handle that, okay? We might take a hit every now and then. There you go. Perfect. Okay, now finish the boss off. I'm gonna stay down here. You guys finish the boss off. Perfect flawless boss fight there was no problem at all there it kind of went by a little too quick because i feel like i kind of wasted these buffs i feel like i could have used them a little bit longer on something else but it's all good it's all good we did what we needed to do here let's get the fuck out of here now we should be able to make a summon actually before we look at the summon let's read this thing favor this item for all your projectiles to inflict icor when in the crimson however any swarmers would greatly increase when the crimson due to your body excreting a sweet smelling pus mmm delicious probably won't be using that one at all sausage maker interesting uh we got like 10 weapons very nice i guess but the one thing i'm really here for is the blood samples rest in peace that squirrel did you guys see that we use the blood samples to make the summon which staff looks like it summons this one blood clot staff and it does eight summon damage really okay i feel like i put in a lot of effort for eight summon damage blood clot staff boom right here all right let's see it in action you know i'm messing with the herrings now i was talking ma major shit about them because i was like because they weren't keeping up with the eye cthulhu when i tested them out but then i really realize you can summon in like double of them so that's that's s tier to me all of a sudden yeah let's get rid of them and let's see what this little army looks like now the the blood clot army wow look at that <laughs> kind of got the same vibe as the uh the the fungus clump let's go find something to test it out on all right here we go we got our first enemy go get them boys it's looking average at best and look at that we got another storm jaw staff i don't think i'm gonna replace the herring staff unless the uh, slime god stuff is really good speak about slime god are we fighting the slime god yet i don't know i gotta i gotta go look at the wiki real quick see what we're missing out on because i think we're pretty damn close to being done with this half of the playthrough all right so next boss we could fight is turkor to fight turkor though oh my god where's the merchant at don't tell me he's all the way over here oh my god that's so far to fight turkor we need to get the uh pet turkey uh for some reason we need the pet turkey with us to summon turkor and it says turkor is that your slime god that seems like cap but Tur turkor can't be hard i feel like if you're doing like a vanilla only playthrough turkor might be a little tough but in terms of us doing a modded playthrough absolutely no way that turkor should be tough for us there you go. I just spent a bunch of gold on a fucking turkey. Let's get the summon stat the summon table down. Let's take out the, the stuffing here. Um probably put a heart lantern somewhere. And then we should be good, I think. Let me buff up, drink this, summon in all the extras I need to summon in. Let's get it. Alright. Oh my god, okay, that was kind of scary. So last time I fought Turkor from the Consolaria mod, completely different AI. And it seems they have updated the AI. Ooh, the neck does damage. That's kind of scary. That's a little scary now. Yeah, the AI has definitely changed. So we're going to see some new moves here. This ain't the Turkor that we know. This is the new Consolaria improved Turkor. And I like that they improved it because, uh, you know, in my opinion, I think the Lepus and Turkor fights are kind of whack. Probably because they're specifically console and uh, mobile made, 3DS made, whatever. And on those systems, you get a little less control of everything. 
it's still not bad controls i honestly think shooting on console is fun as shit because you get that little circle it's really fun aiming around with that little circle but i still would definitely say pc controls reign supreme hey i need you guys to attack the heads attack the heads okay that's what i need you guys doing i don't i don't need anything else from you guys just, just attack the heads Okay, this fight's getting a little dangerous. A lot, a lot scarier than I thought it was gonna get. Maybe I could just range him out. I don't have a dash. I just noticed that. That's kind. I feel kind of scared not having a dash because I feel like there's been a bunch of good moments to dash. All right, is that the end of the fight? Yes, sir. Okay, that was a lot harder than I thought. Our health might be max, but that's only because I had to heal at the end there. But that was a little harder than I thought. Gave me a little scare. Made my cholesterol levels go up. All right, what's in your treasure bag? I don't know if he has anything specific for us. Oh, great drumstick. Oh, actually, the horn o' plenty. If this actually works, because I know this thing has been buggy in the past. This is a infinite 120 health potion. Look, I'm going to keep it then. So we did actually get something good from Turkor. Now, people told me to not fight the Deviant. Uh, Deviant, I have no reason to fight. It's from Fargo's. It's hard as shit. A bunch of people told me, don't fight it. Okay, I won't fight it. I don't plan to fight any other Fargo bosses. So just keep that in mind. So I guess it's time to set up for the slime god. All right, here we are. I've crafted the overloaded sludge. I made two of them because I have a feeling that this might be our first boss where we might take an L. Or maybe we have took an L to a boss and just forgot it. But let's do it. You can fight it anywhere. I'm ready to go. We're gonna buff first, uh, summoning the extra herrings and all that, and then let's do it. So, I don't know how much they've changed this boss, if at all, but okay, that's not good. I probably don't want to be dragged like that. Okay, we're already missing a lot of health. It's all good. Let's focus on one, one at a time. All right, boys? One at a time. Oh my god, I don't have a dash. I really should have probably gave myself a dash. Oh, don't walk into that. Yeah, this, this boss... I, I legit have a feeling that this is going to be the first boss that kills us. I don't have very much movement right now, if I'm being honest. Like, my movement is very minimal. I don't have a dash. Why did I not give myself a dash? I'm fucking stupid with that. So let's hope we can pull something out here. I don't even know if my summons are uh, attacking anything. This is so bad, not having a dash. I screwed myself not having a dash. I can't make it over the fucking... Okay, here we go. Use the B-mount. Perfect. Wanted what I wanted to do the whole time. Okay. We restored some health. I can't control myself, obviously. Uh, you could tell that. Okay, we're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. Somehow, some way, I have brought it back. Oh, don't hit that. Without the dash, we were bringing it back slowly. Okay, barely did not get hit right there. Uh, do you guys want to kill kill the god slime now? The, the main one. I'm so surprised that we lived. That like barrage we got hit by early on. Yes, sir. Come on, get get on him. Get on him. We just we just need to kill the god slime, the main one. He's the only one left. We killed the abonian. We killed the cremonian. Whatever the hell their names are. <laughs> I think abonian is right. I don't know about the crimson one though. We just need to kill this one. See, this is the one thing about the herring staff is the they're, they're a little slow sometimes. If the thing they're chasing is fast as shit, like the god slime, they have a little troubles. We're just gonna we're just gonna hit the uh, the circle jukes on them. You know, the type of jukes you throw on Plantera. And uh, this fight should be over, hopefully. I don't know if my my dudes start hitting them. I don't know. Maybe I have to hit like a different juke. Maybe I should hit them with like a back and forth. Would they hit more often if I went back and forth? Okay, this is getting a little chaotic. Like there's so many things everywhere. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do some switching out here. Uh, we're gonna drop the herrings and we're going straight to the vial feeders because these guys they they might know what's up. They might know what's up. They're a lot faster. They should be able to latch on. When they do hit the uh, god slime, we should be chilling. I didn't mean to take those hearts. I should play away from those hearts because I don't want to accidentally pick them up when I need them. I think definitely the worst thing about the god slime is all these balls everywhere. Imagine leaving your balls everywhere. That's rude as shit. But there you go. The switch to the vile feeders working perfectly as I expected it to. The faster summons taking over. Defeating the god slime in the end. Do I want to fight a second one? Absolutely not. Am I still gonna? Absolutely. Uh, let me actually summon in the herrings again. We don't have a dash, but we somehow made it work last time, so we're gonna try it again. The only thing that's worse this time is that there is like shit everywhere from the last boss or the last one we just fought. Uh, I don't know where the god slime's at. Where, where or the slime god's at? Where, where the fuck is he at? Did he like despawn or something? Music is bumping, but it sounds more like a like Martian invasion music rather than it sounds like I'm fighting the god of slimes in Terraria. Alright, where's the slime god at? 
okay so he chose to not participate in this fight very interesting i have been robbed of my summon or i have been robbed of the materials i used to summon it in kind of whack okay guess we'll uh, i mean what am i supposed to do <laughs> all right the thing is still there whatever just just ignore it we'll pretend that we beat him twice i mean we were on the path to beating him twice what's in the bag we got the purified gel oh look at that we got one of the summons now i don't know if we even craft the other summon or what's going on with that let's see Dude, i'm hoping we craft the other summon oh wait there's armor too do we want this armor yeah we want this armor right i hope i have enough to craft this armor because you know <laughs> I was supposed to get a little extra from fighting the boss a second time, but uh, as we could tell, he, he didn't want to fight a second time. No, we don't get the fucking other one by crafting. That kind of sucks, bro. Why you why you gotta why you gotta despawn like this? Like, come on. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's check out the Crim Slime Staff. Already is mythical too. Very nice. It's just like a very strong slime staff. Is there a permanent bewitching table buff I can make with like Louis AFK? I can. Oh, you need five of them though. What the hell? Okay. Well, I still want to make this because it's pretty good. Makes it start. I have to summon them in over and over. But look at that. We got six of these boys. Um, is this something I could test them out on? I'm, I'm seeing if I have any boss summons. Lepus. Perfect boss to test them out on, I guess. Go ahead, Lepus. Go ahead, boys. Handle this. Hold up. Let me take this out. They seem to be doing good damage. I hope they're doing good damage, bro. I'm taking a lot of damage from Lepus. What is this? I'm not even touching the floor. Lepus just has like an area of effect it does when it lands on the floor with that attack. But there you go. They're not too bad. But that is Lepus. And Lepus wasn't exactly the strongest boss. But I don't know what you expected from like a stronger slime staff. I'm assuming the other one, which let's check out a recipe browser here. I'm assuming the other one is exactly the same but it's just a different color slime coral slime yeah so we don't exactly need it but i might get it anyways uh here's the alternative alternative on how i'm gonna get it okay i didn't want to have to do this but since the boss literally isn't here even though i spawned it in and fought it again uh we could talk to angela and then we could straight up just buy the treasure bag it's a little expensive a whole platinum but we can afford it we're gonna just buy one okay that's it we can make that money back easily it's modded terraria but let's pop this open come on give me the second one okay it's fine you didn't have to but yeah let's read the lore i guess it says favor this item to become slimed and able to slide around on tiles quickly at the cost of reduced defense this makes dashing more difficult and does not work with the mounts interesting let me just let me just see it so like i'm not even pressing anything and we're moving i mean kind of cool i guess but I, I don't know i don't see a reason to use it all right so i think our next objective here if i don't already have enough uh hellstone is to make some new armor using the purified gel what the hell is the name of the armor though let me figure that out before i put the gel in here statigel statigel something like that all right let's see what do we got here i can't even make it because i don't have a static refiner okay what the fuck is a static refiner oh here we go oh okay so we need a solidifier look at that the solidifier actually having a use so do i own a solidifier uh, it looks like i don't actually own one okay all good just means i have to fight a king slime again so i need to make a crown boom and there you go so let us go ahead and do this real quick what summon should i use let's use the uh the crim slime staff might as well and then let's go ahead and see it in action here come on come through mr king slime no, I just beat the god of slimes. Like, can you even compete anymore? It's like once you beat the god of slimes, can any any slime still compete? Now I want to see something here. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage just to make sure that the horn of plenty works. Okay, it does work. Just making sure. Because like I said earlier when I got it in the past, there was a bug where it didn't work with quick heal, but it's nice to see that they fixed that. Pretty sure they fixed that a while ago, but you know, just had to double check. Be a solidifier. Toss that in there. Toss everything else that looks like it's somewhat useful. Let's start with everything but the helmet i don't think we're gonna have enough oh my god is that perfect it might be nearly perfect which one is the minion one? Oh, come on the wackest looking one is the minion one. what the fuck well i guess this one's pretty whack too looks like you're wearing a plate on your head all right boom there's the hood let's see the statigial stuff while it's on let me do some of the 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 summons here boom bada bing take off the hat oh my head looks flat as hell god damn looks like my head got ran over looks like i got bonked it still looks pretty cool though i, I still think the other helmets look cooler but this is still pretty cool too but yeah there you go i think that should be enough for this episode we probably won't even get our hands on the other slime staff 
Oh, wait, hold up. We, let's read the set bonus first. Okay, you can see all this stuff here. There's a lot of reading here. But our set bonus is 18% increased minion damage. Summons a mini slime god to fight for you. The type depends on what world evil you have. When you take over 100 damage in one hit, you become immune to damage for an extended period of time. That's very good. Gets an extra jump and increased jump height. 30% increased jump speed. Very nice. I don't know how much it'll affect us. I think... Uh, having increased jump height just makes our wing time longer, I believe. Also, speak about wings. I swear I had the wing slot mod installed, which if you guys don't know what the wing slot mod is, it's a mod that adds in a separate slot for wings, so we have an extra accessory slot. I swear I had that installed, but apparently I, I don't, so I'm gonna install that at some time, if I remember, because I want an extra accessory slot, so we can have like a dash or something. Oh shit, you know what? We should upgrade the voltaic jelly. I forgot we could upgrade this. Jelly charged battery, got it. Boom, so this is gonna give us one minion and 7% more damage very nice um we only have five minions which i think is the same as the b set oh no that's less than the b set that's one less than the b set but we do get a uh literally the god slime a miniature version so i guess that isn't that bad but yeah i think we're gonna end this episode off here we got a lot accomplished we killed what three bosses i think perforator slime god and turkor next episode is a wall of flesh and us hopping into hard mode i hope you guys enjoyed the video follow my twitch because you never know when i'll stream some terraria or whatever else on there i'll see you next time.